Good morning, this is Phoebe Hanover. I am here today um, to show you how to update your organizational profile. And I know that sometimes that's a big question. So the first thing that we need to address is in order to change your organizational profile information, you need to be the primary billing contact for your organization. If that's not you, then we need to either get that person to log in or get their permission to use their information and log in as the primary billing contact. So once we have that primary billing contact information, we can go to our login page and you're gonna use the username and password of that primary billing contact. And what you will see is a profile tab and an organizational profile. And first we want to go to organizational profile. And once here you'll see the organization name. You can insert your logo if you want. Um, the address of your organization should be there. Maybe some contact information. The type of dues that you pay. Um, whether you're tax exempt and membership information or not will be in there. You can edit this profile. If you need to make changes, let's say maybe you would like to put your website in here. Um, you can put the URL for your LinkedIn account, your Facebook account, or your Twitter account for your organization in, which is also helpful information for us as well. But when you're done, um, you can change your address too if there is a change. Um, but once you're done, you're going to click update profile and this tells me that I've done that successfully. Okay, and the real reason we're here today is we want to get to changing those individuals in our organization. Now, as you can see, this is individuals with an active status. So those are current employees that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and look through my system here. And I see that I have Zingbot, I have Easter Bunny, I have Santa Claus, and I have Sunshine. Now, those are people who don't necessarily work here anymore. So Zingbot, I'm going to make inactive as they're no longer here with this little red X. Okay, and that was successful. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to do the same thing to Easter Bunny. And that was successful. So now we'll look at our new list. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you'll see that Zingbot and Easter Bunny are gone, but now I still have Santa Claus and Sunshine because they're still employed with the agency. Now, if by chance, Zingbot or Easter Bunny have come back to the organization. I can go to my inactive employees by this drop down box. And I find Zingbot and Easter Bunny here. And we'll say that Easter Bunny came back after being gone for a year and is now in a new position. And I want to reinstate Easter Bunny. So I just click on this little green check mark. And I will go back to the individuals list and I want to look and see who's active again. And Easter Bunny now appears as being active. So that's how you can move somebody from inactive to active and back and forth. But the real question is, what do I do with these people when I have new folks that I want to add? And you simply come up to this little add new button here and click add new. Membership dues type, that will tell you again what your dues are. You don't have to worry about the, that in this process, so you can just click next. Contact email. Let's see. Lisa at airs.org. I'm going to confirm. And every time I click on that, I get this too. So just ignore that message and try again. And it helps if I use the at sign. Okay. And Lisa. Let's 
Lisa is just a trial person, but you'll see with the red asterisk the things that are required. So first and last name, email, and then a confirmation of the email address. The organizational name should are already be in there along with the mailing address because that information just pulls over. You can add the website if you like, that's not a requirement. <clears throat> and then we want to add the main phone number. So Lisa's phone number, I'm going to add there. And then you skip down to include me in broadcast email. Well, yes, I want Lisa to get all the heirs emails as they come through. So I'm going to select yes. And then include me in membership directories. That's up to you. That's a choice. Um, most people never access our membership directories to see who all is a member. So that information won't be seen. But you can choose either yes or no. I'm not really worried about it. So I'm going to click yes today and then the next button. This section is for affiliates and it's not really relevant in today's section. So we're going to hit next again and then we're going to submit. And we get a successful button and go down and we're going to get a thank you message, a thank you for joining. So that's really nice to have as well. And you'll have an order number. It'll tell you the information that you added, contact title if you put that in, and all the information. Now you can add another member to the organization if you want. You can print this receipt if you want. It doesn't cost you to add a new person, but it may be nice that they get the thank you message. But I want to go back to individuals because I'm not done yet. And I want to see that Lisa Trial is now in my system. And here she is. So Lisa's here. If I need to make changes to her, I can go to the Edit button here, just like we did with the Easter Bunny. And we can make any changes that are necessary. Um, you can go back to your profile and you can look at your profile and make changes while you're in here. But essentially that's how easy it is to do an add or delete on your organizational profile. It may take some time if you haven't cleaned this up in a while um, to get rid of some of those folks, but it's really not a long process. You mainly need email addresses, first and last name. If you have any questions or problems with this, please don't hesitate to email me. My email address is phanover at airs.org and I am happy to help you work through any of these issues or troubleshoot some problems or answer questions for you. So if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Have a great day.